What's up, gang? Bob Billingsworth here. So today I want to talk about uh, the Sussexes, uh, whatever, you know, Harry and Meghan Markle. So, you know, I just, I can't stand those two, honestly. And, you know, I understand, like, you know, they probably did go through some, you know, weird stuff or, like, maybe even some, like, quasi-racist stuff. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened in their time with the royal family. But they were in the freaking royal family. Like, they could have spent the rest of their lives with, you know, just cruising. You don't have a real job. You just uh, get to do charitable acts all the time and just be, like, a cool person, basically. And, and everyone loves you. And, and, like, yeah, you know, some of the press criticized her and stuff. You know, who knows if she really bullied people and, and whatnot, if she really was, you know, bitchy or whatever. But, I mean, nevertheless, like, they didn't even last 18 months. And then they, they peace out and... Then this new documentary comes out on Netflix, which they got a hundred million dollars for, and basically shows that they've been filming all this stuff from like day one, like ever since they they exited up through Oprah and all this other BS. They film like their entire lives, and so they're saying, "Oh, we don't like all the press scrutiny." Yet your whole business model, the whole way that you make money, is built upon selling yourself. You know people letting people into your personal life and stuff and they say well it's not about privacy it was about how we were treated but you know i just okay you know families they have tiffs they they don't get along sometimes you know i don't get along with my family sometimes but i don't cut them off completely i don't exit the family i don't stop talking to my family members completely like megan markle does with her father i mean anybody like that like uh aaron Rodgers type who oh i don't talk to my family anymore because they they betrayed me you know they they tried to profit off of me you know with the press and stuff so pretty similar situation to megan markle but but you just totally stop talking to your parents and your other family members after that like really that just i mean that strikes me as like you're you're kind of an a-hole like you're kind of a you know maybe a bit of a sociopath or a narcissist that you just cut people out of your lives that are like your own family members because they you know they didn't treat you the way you wanted and man i could go on and on and on about this stuff but then I, you know, just all these articles in the press where prince harry's like oh i want to reconcile i'm waiting for them to apologize you know i really want to hang out with my father and my and my dad you know my my brother again well, maybe don't make documentaries where you bitch and moan about them all the time. Maybe don't write a whole memoir or book that you got like whatever, 10, 20 million dollar advance for to talk shit about them. Like, that, is, that, is that a thought maybe? I, I just, you know, dude, these people, I, you know, don't buy their bullshit, seriously.